I overpaid on my HELOC. Um, it was originally ten thousand. It's down to about it was down to about twenty five hundred to three thousand dollars because I wanted to show good faith. And it's gone. It's just all that money is just gone. Two years I paid it down. And I mean, outside of my regular prin principal payments, I made payments of just monies that I was able to make. Sure. And, you know, we, we crossed paths in the SPURS meeting. And I am a city worker, I'm a former city worker. Um, you know, I, I worked hard in order to get into my home in San Francisco. Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm still a hard worker. Um, I, I don't desire to be paid any money so that I can walk away. It's not about that. And, and it was never about that. It's never been about damages or trying to get over. It's really just been about uh, negotiating in good faith. Yeah. No, I hear you. I hear you. Um, yeah. I mean... I'm new, um, but I, I, I come at this job um, with a lot of uh, heart. Um, born and raised here in the Mission District. I mean, like you, I live in the house I grew up in, mm -hmm. and um, you know, went to school here and everything. And so um, I see my job as, as, as wanting to help people. Um, we had one situation recently, I think it was last Wednesday, and. Um, woman living in the Lakeview and uh, she came in and we actually sat down and you know she told me her situation she's elderly and what she thought was a situation that um, was going to turn bad actually turned good and what it is I think is just laying all the cards out on the table mm -hmm. and just having the dialogue and say okay what can we do um, like you, you know, we're all human beings, and I, and I think, you know, you know, if we, if we work it out, we can. Is it going to happen 100% of the time? I don't know. You know, I've seen cases where there are people that just cannot afford their home, right? But then what do we do from there, right? At what point? And then how do we say, okay, how can we help this person make a transition to do something else, right? And so we've been successful um, in what I've seen and what I've just personally have experienced with, with people that I've been able to work with. Um, so, I mean, I... We'd like you to extend that success to the 18 I, I would, of us. I would like to do that too, so... Um, I think any time yeah. we, we come to the table with, a, with an understanding that there is a resolution that we, we can reach, and that it can be reached with dialogue and can yeah. be reached with openness and, yeah, putting everything on the table. Right. I mean, what we are recognizing is that there is a breakdown through the technology that we've been blessed with, right? Right. We're we're able, our curse, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. We're able to meet yeah. up and, and cross paths with each other with a moment's notice, and yet, you know, we've got transmission documents mm -hmm. and, and faxes, yeah. faxes upon faxes, and, and there's a breakdown there. So yeah, and um, and I think and I, I know you know I I used to be the executor, the executive director of the California Latino Civil Rights Network, and so I know the the importance that you know organizations bring to the table. Um, but what I found successful was just dealing with the person one on one, and that worked Wednesday, and we were able to connect this borrower um, with the HUD approved counselor. And then I connected them with one of our people, and now those two people, both the Wells Fargo person and the HUD approved counselor, are both working together for this lady. And let me tell you, she said to me, she says, "Can I give you till Monday to try to figure this out?" We met Wednesday at 1:30. Thursday at 7 in the morning, I was calling her to tell her, "Look, we're, we're going to try to work this through." So it is possible. Um, but again, not a hundred percent of the yeah. time. You know, you know. We yeah, I, 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 I think, w in my case, if they had said, "Okay, Mr. Falks, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to work out anything, but we're going to have."
have to sell your house, it would have been one thing. That would that yeah. that would have been painful, but okay. But just to sell the house yeah. and not to even tell me in any way, shape, or form. And the, the only written notice I got was the eviction notice from the new owner. Um, that's inexcusable. That's completely inexcusable. And whether or not it's legal, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, an officer in the Wells Fargo office in West Portal, when I told him why I was closing my account, he said, I said, it, you know, they claimed it didn't break any laws. He said, it's not right. And it clearly is not right. And again, there's no excuse. They could have sent me a Hallmark card, something. The other thing we got is that on our own,